Welcome to my monthly Q&A. Thank you to all those who submitted questions. I'm gonna to try to get through as many as I can, uh, but don't feel bad if I wasn't able to answer your question. I'll be here every month. So let's get started. How is the market? Will it ever go down? Oh man, so um, that's probably the number one question that I get asked and I'm sure everyone is wondering what's going on with the market. Um, so I'm sure as everyone's noticed, the market's been on a pretty big upward trend for a very long time. Um, buyers have been competing in multiple offer situations. Sellers have been getting over asking prices for their house. Um, so you can say that the market has been hot. It's definitely been a seller's market. Um, but does that mean it's been bad for buyers? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, buyers have been able to lock in really low interest rates. They've been able to afford things that they haven't, wouldn't be able to afford had the interest rates been higher. So, um, you know, I always tell my buyers this, if you can afford it and you're going to be spending that money on rent anyways, and you can hold on to the property for long enough, then I don't think that it's ever a bad idea to buy, even if the market goes down, because eventually it will. Um, the market is cyclical and even if it goes down, it'll eventually come back up <clears throat> and at that point what will end up happening is your uh, money won't be going to waste and you'll have an asset that's actually appreciated in value and that's basically what happened to anyone who's bought in the past few years. Whatever they've bought is actually appreciated in value whereas rent will never appreciate in value. That is money that is 100% going down the drain and or into a landlord's pocket. Um, but obviously the market is correlated with interest rates. So uh, the prices right now, the reason that it's just so hot is because interest rates have been really, really low. Obviously, if that changes, that's set to change the whole entire uh, market and the climate in the, in the real estate market. Uh, the economy and, you know, I think just the world in general right now, we're in crazy times. So there's really no telling where the market's going to go. Um, do I foresee a financial or market meltdown? Um, I don't see that happening. Obviously anything can happen, but I'm not necessarily worried about it. Um, I, I really do uh, have a faith in the, in the market. And I think that if you're making a smart financial decision and you're buying something that you can afford and hold on to long term, you'll be fine. So that's what my two cents on where the market's at and will it ever go down. How did you get started? Okay. Um, so, uh, might surprise you, but I actually had no interest in doing real estate. I actually never wanted to be a salesperson. I thought, um, that I wouldn't be good at it. Um, so I never actually took any interest in uh, real estate or sales. You know, my parents have a jewelry company and I never wanted to sell jewelry either. I always wanted to do finance. I went to USC. I got a degree in, uh, both international business and business finance. And I thought I was going to be an investment banker, a big hot shop. And then uh, I graduated right after the meltdown, the, the crisis in 07 and 08. So uh, when I graduated in 09, all of the investment bankers were just laid off and I couldn't find a job in what I was actually looking for. Uh, but luckily I got a job at a um, big accounting firm in their real estate division. So there was a little bit of finance involved, but it was mainly basically appraisals for commercial real estate. So apartment buildings, offices, malls, they fly me all around the US to go see the malls so that we can um, appraise it. And uh, it was basically an office job um, and it was Orange County. And um, because I was in the real estate uh, department, I got my real estate license just for fun, just to have, but I didn't have any intention of using it. And then when I got married and had to move to LA, I couldn't do that commute. It was driving me crazy. So I decided that, hey, I had a license. I might as well, you know, give it a try. If it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. I didn't really have a family to support then. So it, it, I didn't have any risk. So um, I said, I'll try selling real estate. And uh, honestly, I hit the ground running and I'm so, so happy that my path led me here because I know that this is what I was destined to do. I love what I do. I feel super honored to help and serve all of you. And that's how I got into real estate. All right, so what are the best and worst parts of your job? That's a great question. Um, okay, so what I love about my job um, is that I get to help people. I get to work with people. I really feel like I'm able to um, assist people through one of the biggest decisions in their life, whether it's buying or selling. I want, I always want to make sure that I'm doing what's in the best interest of my clients, making sure that they get the most money for their property, 
or that they buy something that's right for them. So um, for me, that's a really big gift that I'm given. And at the end of the day, when I get my clients or when I hear my clients um, so happy and thrilled at the end of the day, that for me is worth every single paycheck. Actually, yesterday, the other day, I was, um, I was at an event and one of my buyers, and you'll know who you are when you see this, goes to me, Natalie, I love you. You are amazing. Thank you for forcing me to buy that house. He was having so much hesitation about buying the property, but I knew he could afford it and I knew he was getting a killer deal on it and I didn't want to see him give up on it. I mean, you know, buying a property is super, super stressful. And if I don't think that it's the right property for them, I will never convince a buyer to buy something that they don't feel comfortable with. But if I know that they can afford it and I know that they're getting such a good deal on it, I want to make sure that they don't regret not taking it. So um, my client was basically telling me, Natalie, I can't believe it. I'm so happy you, you, you held my hand through it. You calmed my nerves and you made sure that I bought that property because obviously now it's worth more. It was actually worth more even when he bought it. But, um, you know, sometimes you just need that advisor. You need someone to hold your hand through a process, which is rather stressful, especially if it's your first time. So for me, that's the best part of my job. Um, the hardest part of my job is... Uh, um, well, the fact that it's very, very stressful, you're dealing with a lot of different people, a lot of different personalities, the hours are crazy. Um, you know, a lot of people go into this business thinking, oh, it's going to be so easy. It's a flexible job. I can choose the hours that I work. You know, I'm a mom, so I don't, I can work part time. Uh, and that's not at all how real estate works at all. If you're looking at this as a part time job, you're not going to make money. Real estate is a full-time job, even a more than full-time job if you actually want to be successful at it. And so I didn't know that going in. Um, but soon enough, I realized that there's a lot of sacrifices that I need to make. Um, the Sundays that I spend at open houses or showing properties while my husband goes to all of the school events or all of the birthday parties with the kids, that for me is, is probably the hardest part. And then you deal with a lot of you know, very, very different personalities, a lot of very emotional people because they're dealing with a very emotional um, transaction in their life and you need to be able to manage all of that. Um, so this is definitely not an easy job, but it's so rewarding. Um, and I love what I do and I'm very, very happy to be doing what I do, but it's not for everyone. So thank you guys so much for all the wonderful questions. It's been a blast answering them. I'm gonna be here every month. So if you have any other questions, feel free to message me and I'll try to get to it next month. Talk to you soon. Have a great rest of the week.